I'm Jules. And I'm Suze. And welcome to EduBuffs, where you will find tips for teachers and help for your students. And of course, help for students is what we're going to be doing today. That's but, right. but, before we go on with that, can I just ask you please to click that subscribe button down below, as well as the little bell so you get notified when we have new videos pop up. We would really love it if you could share with your friends. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Just look up at EduBoffs or click on the links in the description box below. So what are we doing today, Suze? We are going to be showing our amazing middle schoolers how to set up their academic notebooks for science and maths. That's fantastic. So you mostly teach maths? I do. I have two maths classes and one science class and um, I have a very specific way that my students need to set out their math books in order for them to make the most of them. That's great. And I know that for myself, I have just started teaching middle school again, and Suze has been helping me to help my students to set up a really good science academic notebook. So, shall we get on with it then? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to start off with a maths notebook for middle schoolers. Now you don't have to buy these things, these are just some things that some of my students like to use. This is the notebook that we also give our students, it is a 5mm grid paper notebook and we supply two of these a year and students have to actually fill it out completely before we will give them another one. We're going to rule a line down the very middle of the page and we'll see later why we do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to write the date. Being maths, we're going to write it numerically and we're going to either highlight or underline it. And we're going to do the same thing with our title, highlight or underline. The next thing is our learning goal. A learning goal is really, really important when you're looking back to see exactly what it was that you were trying to achieve during that lesson. What you're also going to want to do is highlight or underline your cognitive verbs in that learning goal. Now a cognitive verb is a thinking verb. So any verb that requires you to think about how to do it. Next we're going to look at taking notes. It's really important to take notes during your classes. You should always have a pen in your hand. As your teacher is speaking, you should be writing down bullet point notes. It is really important that you don't try and write everything that your teacher says word for word. Just write them in bullet points in your own words and that will help you to remember. Your teacher also writes a lot of things on the board and they do this for a reason. For my classes, if I write something on the board, it is expected that they're going to copy it down as well. And of course, worked examples. Very, very important. My students always have to write down every worked example on the board exactly how they see it. This is where you'll see why we've ruled down the page. So when we are working in maths for middle school, we generally work, show all of our working out vertically. So as you can see here, the equals is underneath each other for each step of working out. Underline your final answer so it's easy to find. And moving on to classwork. So you've done your examples and your notes, now you're going to do your classwork. And it's important to always write down the textbook reference for this so that it's easy to find later on. We always write down the textbook page numbers that we're looking at. And we're also going to write down what exercise number and title it is that we are working from. Once we've done that, we're going to write down what questions your teacher asks you to do. I never have my students work through an entire exercise. I only give them the ones that I think are important. Once we're ready to go, labeling our questions just as they are in the textbook makes it easy to find later on. 
In terms of homework, you always want to write your homework in your academic notebook so that you are able to find it easily. Your homework should always be completed in your grid book underneath the day's work. Once you have finished that homework, underline and you're all done. There you have it. The Maths Notebooks for Middle School. Alright, let's move on to science notebooks for middle school. Now for science we give our students just normal lined paper notebooks which is nice and easy for them if they need to replace them because we only give them one. First thing we're going to write is the date and we're going to highlight that as well. You can write it numerically or you can write it just like I have done here for science, doesn't really matter. And we always put a title in highlighted as well. Of course, we're also going to add our learning goal here at the top. Again, very important for understanding what it is exactly that you're trying to achieve in this particular lesson. And of course, highlight or underline your cognitive verbs. If your teacher gives you any handouts or worksheets that you need to work on, it is really important that you glue them into your book. If you just leave them loose, you're just going to lose them. You're also going to take bullet point notes, keywords, key concepts, and in your own words again. If you write things in your own words, you are far more likely to remember them and understand them. If you have any important words that you need to remember or terms that you need to remember, it's a great idea to start a glossary at the back of your notebook. And you can write those words and those definitions down there so that you can always go back and look for them at another time. Then of course you can come back to your notes and you can highlight or underline those key terms so that you know that those terms are in your glossary. At the end of your lesson you want to rule a line to show that you have finished that lesson for the day but then we're going to add a homework section. Now, Even if your teacher does not set homework for you in science, a five minute homework review is essential for learning and essential for retrieval of information later on when you're studying for exams. The first thing you're going to want to do is you want to check back on your learning goals. You want to see if you actually have indeed achieved the learning goals for that lesson. And you might want to summarize what you actually did achieve. The second thing you're going to want to do in your five minute review is write down any questions that you still have about the lesson that you can ask your teacher about later or that you can research for yourself. Once you're done, Rule off again, ready for the next day. And there you have it. Our science notebooks for middle school set up. And that way you will be able to keep yourself on track. So I hope that has been really helpful for our middle school watchers and for teachers alike. And I hope that you would leave a comment below. Any topics that you want addressed, again, just put them in the comment, in the comment box and we will see how we go with that. All right, we'll see you in our next video. Bye. See you next time. Today, we're going to be making a video for our middle school students. Yay, middle school students. And all my middle school students said, yeah, in the hood. Yeah, okay, I can't wait to do that again. <laughs> <clears throat> They're very cool, Suze. I know, right? <laughs> so we need to say tips for teachers and help the students. You missed that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>